Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stacy, and I make videos on fashion, styling, and shopping. And today's video is going to be a collective haul. And the big elephant in the room is that I have been gone for about three months. And you know what? I really don't have a reason why. Um, I mean, I did do a lot of traveling over the summer, but you know, I just took a break. And one of the reasons why I would say is this because I really hadn't been super motivated to do anything. Um, I really wasn't necessarily super motivated about fashion for some reason. And I think that it has a lot to do with the fact that I now work from home. And before I was even going into the office, before I moved to DC, I was going into the office every single day. Mind you, most people were either hybrid or remote from like March 2020. We were back in the office at my last job since May of 2020. So, and we were going every single day. So for me, you know, when I, I was getting addressed every single day, you know, so I had to sort of like be creative about what I was living on every day. That was my creative outlet. However, I think that being that I'm kind of at home and not really kind of going out and, you know, other than like the weekends or whatever, you know, because I still do that sometimes, but, you know, not having to get dressed every day, I feel like kind of having a sort of a fashion slump, you know, um, because I wasn't necessarily forced to do so. So I guess that's probably why I just really haven't been super motivated. I will say that um, like watching all the fashion week content, or I would say fashion month content from like New York, um, Milan, and also Paris from all the girls, you know, all the girls that we follow, um, Janae from High Low Lux, uh, Politics and Fashion, Tashira, um, Monroe Steele, you know, um, Karen Bridget, watching all of those um, girls in Fashion Week, it has sort of motivated me uh, to sort of like get excited about fall. And it's fall. Fall is my, fall is my shit. Like, I love fall. <laughs> so uh, I think that that's kind of like got me in a sort of a different mindset. But I will say that, yeah, I just really hadn't been motivated. Not to say that, you know, I look like a bum every day because I don't. I mean, I'm so cute every day. I mean, if I go out, whether it's to the grocery store or to the mailbox, I'm going to be cute because that's just my lifestyle. But I just think creating content when I'm not really going anywhere five or six days out of the week, is, is, is it was difficult for me. You know, that's been my journey. But anyway, enough with that. Um, get into the outfit of the day. This is a cardigan. I got this from Levi's. Um, I am doing a small Levi's haul for you guys that's included in this haul. Um, they had a sale that was 30% off and they also did an additional 10% off if you signed up for the, like membership thing, which is free, which is what I did. So I was able to get like my entire purchase for 40% off because they were having the 30% off friends and family. So I got that. It's super soft and I love it. I love that it's striped and it's really sort of like a bright color for fall. Um, I have like my frame jeans. I've worn this denim. A million times um this is just like a little tank that i've got from like h&m a couple of years back so nothing too you know exciting these hoops are from nature the label someone always asks me about them i will link them below if they are still available i think that they are having a sale too so i'll see if they're in the sale nevertheless i'll link them if they are this is from this is like a little of a i think it's like a lion or a tiger um and i think you know, you know what i got this from i got this from I used to do like that little jewelry thing where you would get jewelry every single month or you could opt out of it or I thought, oh, what was it? Could you burn? You know what? I don't remember. I forget the name of them. But anyway, this is one of the pieces that I think I ended up keeping. They send you things every single month um, and then you can decide to keep them or you can purchase them or send them back. Um, I was doing that for a while and I just stopped doing it, but I like this piece so I kept it. I have no idea who it's from. Yeah, so that's all the maintenance. Um, so let's get into the haul. Since I've already started with Levi's, let's just go ahead and continue on that path. So yeah, I got this particular um, cardigan from Levi's. I think it was something like $98 or something like that. So I probably ended up getting it for like $60. do not quote me. I'll link it. Um, yeah, that's, that's not, it's not cheap. <laughs> it's not cheap. I just like it. I don't know. I, I was looking for like a stripe. 
cardigan. I don't know, I'm kind of into stripes. And then because it has like this little br um, bright orange or orange, as the girls were saying, I just thought it was really cute. And it's like a fresh take on like a fall piece. So I like that. Um, and I also like the idea of kind of wearing it open. Um, also, you can wear clothes and, you know, obviously, um, and just kind of tuck it into jeans if you want to. But today, I kind of just want to kind of have it serve as sort of a layering piece. Um, yeah, so that's what that is. And you know what? The other reason why I kind of got, I'm going to say, more interested in stripes is because if you guys, I'm sure you guys know about the Kalana Barfield Brown collaboration that she did with Future Collective at Target and she had like this black and white cardigan. I was not able to get my hands on one because they were sold out, but the black and white sort of like, I don't know, it sort of like um, inspired me. I'm like, you know what, I, I, need, I need something striped in my in my collection. So when I saw it, I was like, this is perfect. So that got that. And the next thing that I got was just this little super soft, almost like faux fur kind of material. Um, it's sort of like a turn to gray, and I love the heart on it. I don't know, I just thought that was really cute. And just something that's very cozy to wear. I mainly got this one um, to kind of like work from home, even though you can definitely create this with some jeans or, you know, some khakis or like even some like cargo pants, because you know, cargos are like all the thing and all the rays right now. Um, but that's why I got it. I really got it to kind of just be super cozy, you know, um, at work. Because sometimes you do need something a little bit interesting, you know, on your Zoom calls or whatever. So this is mainly a Zoom call, <laughs> a Zoom call purchase uh, because I am working from home. Actually, now permanently, because initially they were thinking that we were going to go back um, at some point. But now they're just like, you can just let us know how you want to work. So yay for me on that because I don't like going into work but you know I do miss getting up and getting dressed but I don't miss driving does that make sense anyway all right so the last thing that I got from Levi's and this is probably uh, my favorite thing this is what really kind of got me in the store because I saw it uh, from the window this faux fur collar jean jacket like i love it it is so cute and it's so warm i've already worn it because you know it was a little bit nippy in dc last weekend so i was able to wear it i actually paired it with something that i got from h m which i'm going to show you guys today as well um in like the long jean skirt because now the maxi jean skirts are in however i already had one because i'm in all the time Did y'all miss me? <laughs> no, but I love it though. It's so cute. Like, it's look at that. It's so soft and luscious. I like love it. And the inside is fleece. So we like that. And I do like this because it's kind of like a two for one because this one does have like a collar, um, a fleece collar here, but like the faux fur collar kind of just flaps on top of it. So if you do not want, the faux fur, you can always take this off because this is removable. It's buttoned here and you can just kind of wear it as a little fleece one. So you're getting a two for one. And this one was, I believe, 148. No, I think it was like 120. It wasn't, it wasn't as much as I thought. It was 128. So I was able to get it for 40% off, which I thought was a really, really good price. Um, I will try this on for you guys. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try everything on for you guys. Um, to see how it fits but yeah I like it it definitely it's not short so it definitely comes a little, a little bit longer I mean it's not like a maxi or anything like type of jacket but you know it definitely comes below your butt and I like it I like the color of the denim I think it's just really versatile and really nice and I think and then I actually wore it with a long denim skirt from Zara that I got a couple of years ago it actually matched sort of perfectly so I feel like it's a diverse denim color if that makes sense so yeah so that's all that i got from levi's and again i think that they are still running it but they may be running it where you have to buy two items to get 30 percent off that was not the case when i went into the store the other day it was 30 percent off your entire purchase period for friends and family but you know guys you know the inventory is getting high <laughs> i'm in retail so i know um 
you know, it's been a little bit of a challenge in retail lately. So you guys are going to be able to get some really good deals if you're in the market. I would say, you know, don't spend too much money. You know, definitely be a little bit more cautious about how you're spending your coins. Uh, but I will say that um, you're going to be able to find some really good deals because inventory levels with the retailers are getting really, it's getting really, really high. So just FYI on that. So that's that. So let's go into my H&M haul. So I hadn't been in H&M in like forever because I really just hadn't been shopping guys because I just, I don't really need a whole lot. This is just more of a like a refresh um, for me. I have like one more package coming from H&M and that's a robe and like a, I would say it's more of a trench coat. Um, that's really cute. I may show you guys what it looks like. It has like it has like faux fur on the collar. <laughs> I just saw it uh, on the site, and then H and L was running a twenty percent off, so I went ahead and got that. But other than that, like I, I think I'm pretty much done for the season. I don't need any anything else. I just don't. So anyway, um, I actually wore this. We went to dinner on Saturday, so I wore this. Um, sweater it's like a really like bright orange knit and honestly the color is why i bought it and it's sort of a cropped but it's not super cropped but it's cropped enough um but i like it i like the fact that it has like this little kind of like v here this is a size extra small guys by the way um let me go back and let you guys know what i bought the um the clothes in so i bought the two sweat this is in a small um that was in a small to the one with the heart and then I got the jacket in the small. I actually could have gotten the jacket in the extra small but I just didn't see too much of a difference so I figured it was more safe than sorry because I know that I would be wearing you know bulk of your items um, with that given that I do live in a colder climate so that's what that is. Um, this is a extra small actually. No this is a small. You know what I could have sworn I got something in there. You know what? I could have sworn I got this in an extra small. Hmm. Anyway, it fits. I think I could have gotten away with an extra small here. I don't know why I thought it was a small, but this is a small. And um, I don't remember how much it was. It wasn't super expensive. It might have been like $30, like maybe $29.99, something like that. Again, it was a color for me. I loved it. And I just really wanted to add some brights to my knits. Um, collection this season and again I've already worn it it's very versatile um, also you can layer this too over like a long button down or something like that so I just think that it's something that you can wear quite easily um, for the fall so yeah love that and it's super long it's a really good quality too I think it's excellent quality actually um, it's it's really good quality so that's that and then I got um, this was $19.99, so this is a little bit cheaper. Um, a cardigan. Again, this is a thinner cardigan. And I like it because of the color. Like, honestly, the color is what got me. It's $19.99, but for $19.99, guys, this is actually not bad at all, which is why I purchased it, because I did get this actually in store. This is in a small as well. Again, I like to wear my cardigans as like straight up tops and just kind of like tuck them into like jeans. That's how I typically wear these cardigans, unless it's like something like super chunky, but this is not that. So I love it. I, I think it's really cute. Kind of has like more of balloon sleeve here, but it's a color. Like the color is insane. I, I love the color. I think the color is fantastic. So $19.99, can't beat it. So again, two brights here love it and brights are trending this season so i thought that was a really really good pickup from h&m so the other thing i got is this zip up turtleneck from h&m this is probably the priciest thing that i bought or when yeah it was 50 dollars um it's a zip up this one was this the one that was an extra small Oh, this is the one I bought in extra small because this is cut really big. Like, look at this. Normally, I'm a small, but as you can see, 
Now, I love this. Look at the sleeves. The sleeves kind of are wide. So I like uh, when sweaters are like that, where it's not sort of like cinched in. I don't know, this gives it a little bit of a different twist. And it has like the zipper here. So of course you can wear it like this and kind of like wear it as like a more of an expanded collar around here, which is how I intend to wear it. But yeah, I love the stripes. Again, I told you guys that I'm kind of obsessed with stripes right now. And this does sort of remind me of um, that cardigan from that Kalana Barfield Brown uh, Target collection. But yeah, it's super soft and nice. Again, this was a little bit pricey at $50, but I thought it was a good piece to have, a good staple to have. Um, something that's very warm um, going into the, the winter season. So I love that. Um, I will post links of everything below. And the last thing I bought, this I believe was also $50. $50 for a pair of jeans at H&M is a little bit pricey. <laughs> We're not used to $50 jeans at H&M, but I love this. Now it's so funny because it's like, this thing says it's low waist. So when people are saying, oh, low waisted jeans are in, it's not really low waist because this is high waist for me. I'm not sure what low waist they're talking about. I don't know. But even you can just tell it's not a low waisted jean at all. So it's a wide jean distress. I want to say there is a pair of jeans that Zara has and like all the girls have. Um, I don't have those jeans, but I probably have something similar that I've had from previous seasons or whatever. So you know, it's not super different than what they've been carrying before. So I'm not really sure why people are, you know, kind of going on and on about those now. But anyway, these are cute and I love them. They fit perfectly. I've already tried them on. Um, I will try them on for you. But yeah, I really like them. They're kind of, of a thin denim. They're not thick. Um, however, I don't really mind that because I don't really like a super thick denim. Like this denim that I have on here um, from Frank, it's not thick at all it's thinner but it's better quality obviously because it's frame um but this is still something that I feel like you know if you don't really like wearing jeans this is a good alternative um for that because you don't feel like you're so constricted um when you're in a pair of like thick pants so love those um again can easily style that with any of the tops that I wore that I got um from H&M anyway so that's all that I got from H&M. So let's get into what I got from Pixie Market. So all these items from Pixie Market were, I, I want to say they were a success. With the exception of one item, I'm going to still keep it and I'll let you guys know why. But, you know, for the most part, it was pretty good. Normally, I only get like one piece or two at a time from Pixie Market. Not that I shop there that much because I don't, but they're a little bit pricey. Like they're, you know, hmm. I believe they're a sister um, chain to um, the Frankie Shop. Um, they're just more reasonable because Frankie Shop carries a lot of other like brands that are like super high end. Um, so they're a lot cheaper in my opinion, but it's still a little bit pricey. So, you know, it is what it is. I don't remember like what, I pay for everything, but I will link everything below because I, of course, I don't have anything here that's going to be labeled. But I bought this little blazer here. It has shoulder pads in here. It is a pinstripe, which I really like. I don't know, I just really like it. And I like their blazers too. Um, I like this how I have it for three buttons here on the side. Um, it's definitely mine. It is excellent quality. I don't know, I just, love it and I love a good blazer I, I I do I love a good blazer you know it has like a split hip here and yeah so it's just really a nice blazer here I'm trying to think this is a full pocket I don't know if it's a pocket of hair or not or if it's a full pocket I actually don't think it's a full pocket. I think this opens up. But yeah, I just, I love this a lot. And I just needed to update my blazer collection. I did not have anything like this in my current blazer assortment. And I do have a lot of blazers, but I just thought it was really nice. And so 
Um, I love it. That's our pockets here. It's, it's, and the quality is outstanding. Like the quality is outstanding. So that's that. Now, the next thing I got is what I feel like is kind of like the fail. And I'm gonna post a picture of what it is. I thought it was like a t-shirt. And I thought that maybe it wasn't a t-shirt. Maybe it was just more of, I guess the bolero, is that what you would call it? But when I looked at the picture, it did not like, it showed it as a shirt. Because normally the last picture of an item, you know, whenever it's styled some type of way, if there was like any question, the very last picture that they post of it will usually be what the item is, what you're getting. And so that's why I thought that I knew what I was getting and I was completely wrong. And so this is what I ended up getting. And I'm like, what? <laughs> What? I thought this was going to be like a t-shirt with like these little puffy sleeves and I was here for all of it. I should have known because of the price point. The price point was really low for what it was, but I think it might have been on sale though too. Either way, I'm going to keep it because I do think that A, it's black, it's very versatile and I can really put this over other like t-shirts and tanks and stuff like that. I actually really do like this piece of it. Like I love the puffy sleeves. Like I love it. So. You know, needless to say, I'm going to keep it, but I was disappointed because I could have sworn, you know, up and down that that was one piece and it wasn't. I don't think that they did a good enough job explaining to you exactly what it was, in my opinion. Like I should have said something is included in like the description and that did not happen. But I got that. And then I also got... <laughs> another pair of jeans and these are a pair of cargo jeans which I like so it has a little cargo pockets here and it's a little bit more of a wider leg and I like it I love love the color of this denim here it is definitely super high-waisted and I really really like this a lot so yeah Definitely into the whole cargo trend. I've been into cargo pants for a while. You know, Karen Britt Chick, she released some cargo pants for her very first collaboration, and that was like sometime last year. It's a while ago. And I wore those pants. Like, those are probably my most worn pants. So I figured that having a pair of jeans was sort of like a no brainer on that one. So then the last thing that I got from Pixie Market was this dress. This. Y'all, this dress is insane. Look at the titty patches. Like, look at that. This is cute. So essentially, um, it's sort of like a gathered um, material. Super nice, zips up the back. It's really easy to get on. So it's it's very much ruched all the way down, as you can see here. Um, and yeah, and it fits like a glove. I love it. I bought this to wear to a wedding um, in a couple of weeks, so we'll see if I wear that. Um, so yeah, so I got that. I thought it was nice. I don't have anything like that. I don't have anything sort of like evening like that in my um collection at all because i don't really go many places like that but i just fell in love with that i, I don't even know if it's all you like it's amazing they have tops like that too i said let me get the dress because the dress was something i knew i had something to wear you know specific to wear too um so i said let me see about that and if not i might go back and get like the top because they have the top in black and they also have the top i think in white as well so we shall see but i i love pixie market like i let me see if I have some stuff up here. I might not be on this rack, but um, I love Pixie Market a lot. And I, like, their stuff is just like excellent quality. Like, it's excellent. I just, I, I, I highly, highly recommend them. Um, they're gonna be a little bit pricier than things you're gonna get from like an H&M or a Zara or whatever, but I can tell you that the the quality will be good. So, 
the last thing I got were these pair of these uh, pair of boots. And let me tell you. They said these were a pre-order, and I haven't even tried these on. Looks like there's a little bit of a net here. I haven't even tried these on. Um, I just got them yesterday. They said they were pre-order, they were gonna ship later, but they ended up getting to me in a couple of days. So I was really excited about that. And these are boots that you've seen Hala Lux with them. You've seen um, to shower from Politics and Fashion. She had a pair of, I think she had a pair from Auto. Mine are from Steve Madden. They are at the Saint Laurent dupe so you probably know what boots i'm talking about and i had to have them so i ended up getting these boots for under a hundred dollars i think my total ended up being like 90. they are over a hundred dollars in general but i was able to get like a 20 percent off because i have like that extension on like my my desktop where it finds different promos and so it found a promo for me and i was able to get it so i used it and it ended up being 90 dollars. so i got it for a, pr a pretty good discount but yeah so this is a direct dupe to the Saint Laurent like little bedazzled boots I have not even tried these on I mean I can't wait to wear I cannot wait to wear. Like, how do I even get off the? All right, so because I gotta be careful because this is not like it's like regular leather or like other material. You know, it has like these little diamond esque situations on them. So has to be careful. I kind of wish I didn't put anything in here at all. Honestly, but. Alright, so basically, and I had never really seen, so it's kind of like a clear heel. So it's not even like a boot boot, it's like a clear heel with the little covering or kind of stocking as type material that kind of goes over like the clear heel. Does that make any sense? You see that? So that's how they're doing that. I'm not sure if that's how Saint Laurent does it, but it gives you the same look. And that Saint Laurent boot was like $3,000. Ain't no way in hell I was ever doing that for a boot that I'm probably going to wear maybe three times. <laughs> <laughs> this is so sexy though. I cannot wait to wear it. I've seen this is true to size. Let me, let me try them on. This is a size seven and a half. That's my true size. Um, I've read they are. I actually like the fact that they're not super high. And the ones from Aldo, because I almost looked at those too, because those are the ones that the shower got, because I think these were on back order, she said, but I was able to get them. But hers were a skinnier heel and it was higher. This is more my speed, because y'all know how I feel about that. I'm trying to see how do I get these on. Oh, Lord. Oh, they're okay. They're easy to put on. I just want to make sure that they fit. Oh, they do. They're perfect. Oh, they're perfect. Oh, I can't wait to wear. I can't. All right. So, yeah. So. This is so cute. My legs a little skinny though. Let me see if they kind of go up. I think they'll be fine once I pull them all the way up. But we'll see though, y'all, because they look a little loose here. I'll try and do a full trial for y'all and insert it in if I haven't already. But that concludes my haul. So I do have um, a pair of sunnies coming. Um, and you've probably seen them all over um, Fashion Month. I won't say week, but really it's month. It's been a Fashion Month. So you will recognize them definitely. But I did want to, you know, get something sort of like freshen up my little wardrobe. And they are a color. I don't really have too many colors. Um, they're typically either like brown or black. So 
looking forward to those coming and seeing how they fit my face oh and i told you guys i do have like that package for the trench coat i'm going to post a picture of that and then link it because if i wait to do another haul and when that comes it'll be gone i'm telling y'all right now we already know how h&m is so i will let you guys um see what that is because i think it's a really really good piece and um i just kind of stumbled upon it and i think it just i think it's a brand new release and then i have like a robe that i bought that i actually ordered before but the robe never came so i ended up having to get my money back because the package just never showed up but other than that though, that's pretty much it i'm not going to really be doing anything else honestly most of everything else i'm going to be doing is going to be talking about fashion um, I do have another video coming up where I'm going to be talking about a lot of these collaborations that's been kind of happening. Um, Target had a release. Oh no, I do have Target stuff. Sorry guys, I have Target stuff. Yeah, let me say y'all. Okay, let's just talk about Target. So, y'all know that they had that Future Collective um label or that brand that they just released i want to say around i think it was september 11. that's the one with the collaborator um kalana barfield brown a lot of us are already following her she used to be an in style editor i believe beauty editor so that's how we know her and she's just really been very influential in like the whole like fashion space because she dresses impeccably and her styling skills are fantastic so it was an excellent collaboration I was very impressed with the pieces. I'm not gonna show those pieces. I think everybody has already did that, so I'm not gonna go back to that. But I did buy a lot of pieces. I did actually um, do a try on, and I need to go back and put that on my highlights for on my IG. By the time you see this, I'll have, I will have done that, so you guys can go and see me try some of the pieces on in the dressing room, because I did do that and I did post it on my IG. But for the most part, I'm not going to do another video for it because there are 50 million videos out there um, showing these pieces. Um, she has a few more pieces released too in stores. I just wasn't interested in anything else. I think probably by the time November comes, because I think it ends in November, there might be a couple more things I might want. But other than that, I think that's going to be it. Um, but fast forward to Sunday, they had the official like. Um, designer collaboration happens and their three um, designers are going to be Sir Joe Hudson who we all know has worked with everybody for the most part um, it's going to be Kiki Vargas who I'm very familiar with and then also it's La Linye I think I don't know how to pronounce that but I've heard of the brand I just don't have anything from the brand I don't really even know necessarily the aesthetic I do now because I've seen what they've done for Target and to be honest with you of the three I think that they're the ones that did the best in my opinion. That's what I got items from. I got items from that La Lene or you know what? Let me see how you pronounce this. I'm not butchering this brand's name. The word you are watching it sounds like lean. Lean. La Lean. 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 Okay, so it's La Lean. So La Lean I actually did like. It's not really my aesthetic. But I did like some of the pieces. I got two pairs of pants. I like those little striped pants that they did. I thought those were really cute. And I do need pants. I don't have a ton. I have a lot of jeans, but not just every pants you can just kind of throw on in like a very casual way or even make dress them up. So I got the pants and then there was like this two piece sort of like satin pajama-esque type set that I got that I thought was really nice. That's it. I didn't really like anything else. <laughs> I'm going to lie to you. Initially, when I saw Sergio's things, I was a little bit disappointed. I said, okay, I'll get some of the accessories, but then they sold out of all of the belts because that's really what I wanted. And I thought maybe I'd do belts and I would do like the gloves, but the gloves to me, I mean, they weren't back body, but it wasn't anything that made me decide that I'm going to go and, and spend the money on them. I think if you need a pair of gloves, then, you know, by all means, I mean, that it's there, but it wasn't anything. There wasn't a ton of, like, fashion behind the gloves. They were just gloves. They were in different colorways. You know, I thought the belts were pretty good because of the type of belt it was. It was very much on trend with, like, other people have been doing, like, Loewe and even with, like, Valentino and, um, and other people. I think that, you know, it's on trend. 
but they ran out of belt, so it is what it is on that one. And I didn't really like anything else. I thought that the other things were a little bit more basic. In other words, you know, that was that. Kiki Vargas, I was really disappointed in. I actually did get like a gold dress and I'll pop up um, a picture of it. That was really the only thing that I found interesting. And to be honest with you, it might be returned if I don't like it, if it comes here. Um, it's. I just thought that the Kiki Varga stuff was very like cheap looking. It wasn't super, it, I don't know. It was a very lazy release in my opinion. And to me, you know, the Kiki Vargas um, designer, you know, that's the person that does like a lot of the, like, the really like poofy dresses. And honestly, if you go back like a couple of years, Zara did a ton of those dresses. I used to do them, you know, um, they did for a couple of different seasons. I still have those dresses in my closet. I still wear those dresses. They did a really good job with the dupes. Y'all let Zara dupe y'all better than you, your collaboration with Target. I really want to be messy and go get the dresses I have from Zara and to show you guys because they are really 10 times better <laughs> they are than what I got than what they had at Target. I just thought that the material was cheap. It just it wasn't anything that I significantly had to have, you know, in my opinion. And I don't know. I just thought it was very lazy. I, I was not super impressed. I thought the the Lani Lani did a good job. Um, I think the quality on their things seemed to be fine for the most part, but you know, I don't know. I just I was very disappointed in that. Like I really thought that this was sort of like a thrown together collaboration. And yeah. So anyway, what I did get, and I haven't tried this on at all, so I need to is I bought this particular set here. And initially, I wasn't for sure how I felt about the print, but it's definitely grown on me because it's brown. You know, I'm a chocolate girl. I do like it. I like how it has like a little piping on the end, on the pants here. And um, it's it's super soft. I like the material of it. It does look super chic. The pants were 40 and I believe the top was 35. Um, yeah, so I thought it was really really nice. I love the piping kind of going down here as well. So I thought this was well done. You have piping on the ends. Um, I mean, not the, the best, best quality, but I can see the details here in the design. So I liked it. And I thought that, you know, this is definitely like a fall floral. So I thought it was really nice. So I love that. I will say that um, the pants seem to, I got the pants in a size small. I think they should fit I'm thinking maybe I should have got them in the medium, but they should be fine here. And I will say that I got the shirt in the medium. To me, it seemed like there wasn't a ton of room in this shirt. Um, so the small seems to be a little bit too small for me. So I did size up in the top. I just don't like my tops to be small. I don't know. I just think that makes things look cheaper. I always size up over, you know, trying to squeeze into something a little bit too tight. So I got that and then I got these two pants. And I'm actually, I do like these pants. I thought they did a good job with the pants to be honest with you. Again, I love like the piping on the sides. It has like a little slit, which I thought was really nice. I love how this is sort of like khaki. Um, it has pockets in here. Yeah, I thought it was really, really nice. And these are long too, which I like because you know, like the long pants, it kind of like hangs down over your um, shoes with like a pair of like sneakers or whatever. It's kind of like the, the cool girl vibe that I was kind of going for. Yeah, I thought this was actually a really nice quality pant. And I needed some pants. I got it in like the khaki color. And I also got it in like this other like blue color. And honestly, I would, try to maybe style this with maybe that because it's not the same but I feel like it still goes if that makes any sense but yeah it has like the red it has actually that one only has a double black piping this one has a red and a blue piping down the side again made the same way you know definitely this split him here um yeah so I got these both in a size small they seem to be 
and it's a, and it's stretched back here too. So it's not like this is something that's, you know, you're not going to be able to have any room or give in, which I do like about it as well, because it's it looks structured and more tailored in the front, and then the back gives you like more of the give with this elastic back here. So I liked it. I just think that that particular brand did the best. Um, at, in my opinion, interpreting what they do at the higher end and making it be something that I thought looked fine on the lower end. Um, but yeah, and actually, um, this guy that I follow on Instagram, his name is Almost Damus. I will post his information below. I was like, he is a, a guy that does a lot of fashion content. Um, I love him so much. I think he's in the DC area. You know what? We need to hook up. Yeah. Zay call me we need to have lunch but he did a post um kind of giving his thoughts about the collection and honestly i agree i mean i did support it um because i needed a few things and there were things that i absolutely did need that were missing from my wardrobe so i was able to fulfill that but if that had not been the case like if i didn't need any pants i probably would not have partook at all so check him out check, check out his post on that um let me know what you guys think and yeah, I think that's pretty much it for me. I am back. I'm going to post um, another video, probably over the weekend. It's gonna be more about fashion week, but I thought about fashion weeks or the fashion month, shall I say. Um, what I thought about what the girlies did over there, I'm actually really happy for a lot of them. So it's kind of giving you my thoughts on that and just thoughts on fashion in general. I think that, you know, it's been a long time since like, we've had like a fashion talk. So, um, yeah, we're going to be talking. <laughs> we're going to be talking, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that you guys have a really good week. Talk to you soon.